So look, y'all, I am for the truckers, okay, uh, doing the boycott. Now, a lot of individuals out there, you have some that are kind of in their feelings about it. Uh, they're saying, you know, wow, these truckers uh, boycotting, you know, people in New York can't really get uh, certain products and goods and stuff like that. And now, look, I, I see it from both uh, ends, okay? But you have to understand, for the individuals uh, living in New York, you have to understand what uh, New York right now is doing, which is abusing power, all right? They're doing stuff and, and using so-called laws that have never been used before. Uh, you know, really, they have nothing on uh, Trump, and they're just really doing this out of spite, all right? Now, some people may say, uh, you know, uh, you know, it, it's not election interference. It is election interference because, uh, number one, uh, you know, four years ago, this is something they would have considered election interference if the shoe was on the other foot. OK, now I am for the truckers. All right. Uh, you know, e expressing their their rights. They have a right to do that. They feel how they feel. They have their beliefs. All right. That's their right. If they want to act on it, they can act on that. All right. And um you know, you have the boycott going on. You have a, a crisis right now in uh, New York where individuals are not getting products and goods. But you have to understand this. There's been a crisis going on in, in New York. And for some reason, y'all, it just cannot change. It, do, it does not seem to change. I don't know how the voting goes on in New York, but, uh, you know, it, it does not change. All right. We have the same thing, the same results. OK, especially for. Um, you know, the, the Democratic Party, especially uh, individuals receiving the same results, uh, Democratic voters. Uh, you've always had a lot of uh, uh, things going on with, with like elections uh, and all of that stuff, even in New York almost four years ago. All right. And I don't see how individuals uh, expect this state to change. All right. Uh, if we do not have change and voting. Now, uh, another issue that I have is that, um, like I said, it stays blue every single, uh, every four years, it stays blue. Uh, you get no changes. All right, what has to happen, all right, what has to happen in a lot of these uh, states, and it's not even just New York, you got other states like uh, California, uh, you got, um, you just got a lot of states like that, all right? You got the, the thing going on in, in Colorado, uh, all of that stuff. And at what point in time does things change? All right. It, it really makes you wonder, okay, if now look, I understand, okay, I understand the last voting situation with Trump, okay, because all of that was new to the public. All right. And when I say new, I'm talking about fixed elections or whatever you want to call it. All right. That was new. OK, so a lot of individuals did not know what to uh, think of that. All right. It was a bad situation. OK, uh, in my in my opinion. But a lot of people out there did not know how to react to that. And a lot of people just thought that, uh, you know, Trump was crazy for saying that the election is rigged. Um, you know, a lot of people were saying, you know, oh, he, he's talking about we have to shut down them. And he wants us to shut down the machines to. Uh, interfere with the election. Y'all have to understand that the election was uh, uh, being interfered with when it came to uh, Trump possibly winning uh, the, another four years, okay, almost four years ago. Y'all have to understand that. So when he was talking about shut down the machines and all of that, he was saying shut it down, not for his benefit, okay, but he was saying really uh, uh, shut it down uh, because he noticed that a lot of the numbers on there were, uh, you know, going for the opposite party. And we know who that party is. All right. We know that that, um, you know, those numbers were going for the op uh, opposite party. And you have to understand a lot of these politicians and uh, even people say that Trump is not a politician, but Trump knows how this goes. He knows when those numbers look funny and a lot of things were not looking right. Uh, when those numbers came up and then, you know, it seemed like uh, individuals on the opposite side was trying to make it seem as close uh, as close. So things would not look a little bit suspicious. All right. But, uh, you know, the, the thing is this, what more has to happen? 
those were a new situation. Now we're seeing a situation now where you're having the border crisis, you're having inflation, uh, you're having all of these situations going on. Okay, so now this should not be new to us. I said that uh, I brought up the, the Trump situation and uh, the voting situation to say that was new to us. This right here is not new. OK, because for some individuals, they had the suspicion. All right. that something may could have been funny almost four years ago. All right. But now you see that there is some real election interference going on by the opposite side right now. And a lot of that has to do with uh, uh, certain things that are going on, uh, like what you see with New York and a lot of these cases and stuff like that. All right. Uh, you know, that's possible. That's election interference, right? They do not want this guy uh, to win the White House. And the reason why they don't want him to win the White House is because they know that a lot of their agendas, uh, okay, that they have set up, is going to go out the window, all right? They cannot function correctly. If they have someone in the White House that's ahead of the White House that are against a lot of uh, their agenda. How can they function like that? All right. So the thing is, they want a yes person in there. All right. They not only want a yes person in there, they want someone that's going to uh, let them fly under the radar. You have to understand what we're witnessing right now with Trump, even what we witnessed uh, uh, his first term, okay, is not normal for uh, the Democratic Party. It's not normal to have someone in the White House uh, who is not a yes person. Obama was in a White House. Obama was a yes person. Obama was, in my opinion, uh, part of the agenda with uh, uh, the, the Democratic Party. All right. Uh, when Trump got in, he was against that. They cannot function with somebody that's that down with the get down. Trump has to get down with the get down in order for them to feel comfortable. And he's not like that. So that's what they're fighting against. All right. They do not want to go through another four years because the thing is, if Trump get in there and get another four years, do you know how much damage he's going to do to the Democratic uh, agenda in that four years? All right. Uh, I believe if Trump gets into the all into the White House, he's in, in the next four years that 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 agenda, okay, part of the agenda that, uh, 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 you know, part of certain agendas that the Democratic Party wants to accomplish is going to be broken down. All right, by the time that four years up, a lot of those agendas are going to be no more. And talk about starting from scratch. All right, and not only that. Are the agendas going to be, you know, broken down? But the thing is, uh, Trump is going to make sure in the next four years that a lot of the American people do not have to go through. He's going to set it up to a point to where a lot of us are not going to have to go through what we are going through. OK, just to get our vote out, just to be heard and just to matter. All right. Voting is, is, is probably going to be set up in a way where you're not going to have any uh, 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 rigged elections. You're not going to have any election interference. These are things that I believe he's going to build up. All right. Not only that. All right. I believe that he's going to make it at least doable. He's going to make it possible for Democrats not to go on a, a, a Democratic uh, a long term presidency run. I think that how he's going to set it up. He's going to make it fair for uh, Democrats and Republicans uh, to have a fair shot. All right? I believe that's how he's going to set it up also. So you have to understand, uh, Trump getting in, into the White House, in my opinion, is going to change a lot of things. It's going to break down those agendas. All right? And he's going, when he finally leaves, okay, in that next four years, and after that four years, things are going to be set up in a positive way. Things are going to be set up in a positive way where, uh, we're not going to have uh, uh, any more wars, okay? We're not going to have any more uh, uh, high inflation for a while, okay? We're not going to, we know that he's talking about deporting uh, a lot of the illegals out of here. So imagine how many of those illegals that he's going to get out of here uh, over those four years when he does that mass deportation, all right? Those, he's going to get rid of those individuals that are coming in to replace us uh, as voters, OK, is that are going to replace the individuals that are uh, uh, switching from Democrat to Republic. 
Okay, because remember, switches from Democrat to Republic, that's not good for politicians. All right. So that, that's why they're trying to bring in a lot of those uh, um, illegals. OK, to replace them. All right. But if Trump gets in there and deports that, that's going to break down an agenda. They don't have to start that all over again if they even get a chance to. All right. Depending on how how much damage Trump then already didn't cause to uh, their agenda. All right. So then we're not going to have to deal with the illegals uh, anymore. Just imagine having to do all of that stuff over again. All right. So like I said, uh, that's going to make it way more more better. All right, we know that uh, Trump is also going to put in uh, certain restrictions, and he's going to re- uh, put in uh, uh, certain kind of terms when it comes to voting, voter ID, uh, getting rid of a lot of uh, fraudulent uh, uh, voting systems that are out there. That, like I said, him getting into this office is going to allow him to build. Okay. Um, it's going to allow him to build up from the ground up a more secure system, e- economy and voting system, okay, for the American people and leave the American people in a better uh, state to survive, okay, after he's gone. All right. Not only that, uh, by him doing a, a good job those four years, he's going to uh, leave uh, the next person set up uh, uh, good to run. Okay, for the Republican Party again. All right. He's going to leave. He's going to leave a a good setup uh, for us to uh, rebound on that again. All right. To pick up where he left off of. All right. And if you look at a lot of the uh, candidates now with uh, uh, Ramaswamy and, um, you know, a lot of other uh, 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 candidates like Scott and all of those, he's leaving a good he's going to leave a good foundation. All right. Nikki Haley, I don't know about <laughs> I don't really know about that, but uh, him getting into uh, the White House, in my opinion, is uh, important because because of a lot of the reasons I just said, you know, um, and yeah, you know, uh, as far as the truckers go, um, like I said, I am for uh, the truckers because at some point somebody has to get through to a lot of those politicians, especially the ones in New York. OK, we can't continue to let them do what they want to do. OK, and the American people are the ones suffering from it. We can't continue to just uh, bend over and take it. At some point, the American people are going to have to stand up. OK, and um, and put their foot down and say, yo, we're not doing that. All right. And you have to understand the American people. You know, we have a lot of skill out there and we do things uh, such as assist in, um, you know, transportation. You know, we assist in. Uh, uh, a, a lot of other things, such as uh, a lot of important uh, uh, exporting and all of that stuff, uh, logistics, a lot of that stuff. So the American people, you, we assist heavily in running the economy. And if we can uh, shut down uh, a certain, uh, uh, if we can shut shut down a certain uh, sector that we control as American people and put our foot down and make people look at us and say, uh, okay, that's affecting us, then that's good. I'm for that. All right. I'm for that because we've been going through this entirely too long. I do not think the American people should not have to keep uh, putting up for this. All right. And so, um, you know, as long as, as we're, we are fighting for our, our, our own rights um, and our own freedom, and we're fighting for someone uh, that is trying to fight for us also, I mean, that's all you can ask for. All right. So, yeah, I want to make this video. Um, Like I said, for a lot of the newcomers out there just seeing my video, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, I want you all to hit that like, subscribe. Okay, like, subscribe. Give me some uh, more subscribers so I can put out uh, more content for you. all Even if I don't have a lot of subscribers. All right. uh, I'm going to still put out this content because I know that new channels. Okay, uh, it it takes time. All right. But at the same time, I want to still put out uh my message all right and like i just want to tell people think for yourself all right uh i came to uh voting for a republican i was once a democrat all right i was once a democrat uh that did not know why i was voting okay i once hated trump also i was once one of those individuals that hated trump did not know why i hated trump all right i liked them because a lot of family and i mean i hated them because a lot of family and friends did 
All right. But I had to venture away from them and I started to start thinking for myself. And that's what I did. All right. Now, it was hard for the family and friends when I said, yo, I can't vote Democrat anymore. I'm voting for Trump. You know, I got some racist remarks thrown at me from my own people. Uh, but at the end of the day, I, I'd rather think for myself than to be thinking, um, uh, you know, than to have somebody think for me. OK, and just doing stuff just to do just hating people just to hate, just voting uh, just to vote because everybody else is doing it. I'm thinking for myself. That's what everybody else do. Nobody put a gun to my head and said, OK, vote for uh, uh, vote for Trump. I came to that decision on my own uh, by thinking for myself. And that's something I am very proud to say I did. OK, nobody encouraged me to do it. All it took was old fashioned uh, research. OK thinking outside the lines, reading in between the lines and just putting stuff together. All right. So I wanted to make this video like subscribe and I will catch all of you beautiful people and supporters. I will catch y'all on the up and up outing.